We're now going to look at line ticking. Now, the idea of line ticking is the players run on the lines and they're not allowed to go off the line. So they sort of change lines where one line intersects with another on the court. Two players will be up and they'll have a basketball. Now, the job of the people who are up is they have to dribble the ball with one hand along the lines and while dribbling, they have to tag the other players with their free hand. When a player gets tagged, they step off the line and they do 10 star jumps. They then go back on the line and join back into the game. Another way you can do line tiggy is as gang up. So when players get tagged by the people with the ball, they then go and get another basketball and they become up as well. Now here's a fun drill that you can do with your students and children. You may have played stuck in the mud before. A lot of the tiggy games that you play in the schoolyard you can actually do with a basketball. The players with the ball have to tag people again with their free hand and the players without the ball, when they get tagged, they have to stand with their arms up and their legs spread like this, and the only way someone can be freed up is for someone to go under their legs. Here's another fun game, Red Rover. One person begins in the middle of the court with a ball and calls a person's name. The person they call has to try to get from one side of the court to the other without getting tagged by the person in the middle. If they do get tagged, they become up as well and they go get a ball. The other players may try to get from one side of the court to the other if the person who was called gets tagged or if they make it to the other side. Play continues until all players have been tagged. You have to do dribble knockout. Now the idea of dribble knockout is you've got you be inside an area, okay? Everyone's bouncing the ball and you've got to try and tap the other people's balls out with your non-dribble hand. I will move I will move the areas in and change the areas. Once you are knocked out, you are to go and sit over on the chair. The first area is the two side lines, the black line here and the white baseline. That is the area you are playing. Players may not kick a ball or pick it up if someone swipes at the ball. They may, however, pick the ball up to stop it from going out of bounds as long as they start dribbling it again straight away. Players are also out if they step out of bounds.
knockout ins and outs. The way it works is you have two players in a centre jump ball circle or a jump ball circle and you have the other players line up at the side of that circle. Two players in the circle bounce the ball until a person is knocked out of the circle. When that person is knocked out, they hand the ball to the next person in the line and that next person comes in and challenges the winner. game, each team has to try to stop the other team from getting four passes in a row. If a team gets four passes in a row, they get one point. The first team to get seven points wins. Players are not allowed to dribble or run with the ball. To help ensure everyone gets a touch of the basketball, add the rule you can't pass to the person that just passed it to you. variation of four passes to score is a game that we call try. You cannot run or dribble with the ball. This team is going to try and score on that sideline. This team is trying to score on that sideline. You can pass as many times as it takes. You cannot pass it to the person who passed it to you. Okay, and the only way you may score is you cannot catch the ball with both feet outside the sideline or it's the other team's ball. You must have over both feet. Here, or one foot in and one foot out. And that's a try. 
The idea of ball in the ring is the person in the middle has to try and touch the ball, has to get a fingertip to the ball while the people on the outside of the circle pass the ball to each other. You can roll the ball, you can bounce it, you may pass it to each other. As we play the game, I will change the rules. The first rule is you're not allowed to throw the ball over the head of the person in the middle. If you throw the ball over the head of the person in the middle, you're in the middle. Okay. And you can't do it on purpose just to be in the middle. Okay, you ready? Standing up. Josh, you're in the middle. Give it to someone, mate. Give it to someone. Here, pass me. It's called four and rotate. It's a shooting game. First, we're going to look at layups, which is a high percentage shot. Okay, and allows two steps to score the basket, and the players use the backboard. The way the game works is we have four spots on the court and four teams. The teams have to shoot the ball, and the first team to get four shouts out rotate, and all players rotate clockwise one spot. They take their ball to a new spot, and when they reach that spot, their count starts from zero again. Okay, let's have a look at the game. Standing up! done their layups in four and rotate you can actually add shots and what they do is they take a shot from just inside the keyway edge still at the 45 but this time try and encourage the players not to use the backboard let's take a look at these players now doing four and rotate with shots not layups
Now, if there's a fun shooting game that kids absolutely love, it would have to be shooting knockout. The idea of shooting knockout is players line up one behind the other in front of the basket. Now, the person at the front of the line shoots the ball. If they make their shot, they're safe. They may go to the end of the line. But if they miss, the player steps to the side and the player behind them then takes a shot. Now, if the player behind them shoots the ball and the shot is successful, the person who is in front of them is knocked out. If, however, the player who is behind shoots the ball and they miss, then they step to the side and the other person that was at the side is now safe and may go to the end of the line. You continue to play this game until there is one player left and they are the winner. They are the shooting knockout king. Let's take a look at this fun game that the kids play. As the players get more developed with shooting knockout, you can actually add a new challenge. It's called elimination. Now, shooting knockout and shooting elimination are very similar. The only difference is with shooting knockout, you're only allowed one shot. With elimination, you're allowed to take as many shots as it takes for you to get the ball in. A person is knocked out when the person behind them gets the ball in before they do. So the idea is, is you've got to try and score as quickly as possible so you don't get knocked out by the person behind you. In both shooting knockout and elimination, you can only be knocked out by the person behind you. Let's take a look at elimination. Through. I'm going to be hard. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Okay. See how you 
Yeah. 